Bypassing all protocols, the filing clerk signed on behalf of the Acting Provincial Lands Programme Advisor in a letter addressed to the Secretary of Lands in Port Moresby. Senior provincial government officers explained that such a letter should have been written by the provincial administrator himself. So when the documents came back from Port Moresby, uh, we realised that this officer signed. Uh, in fact, he's got his signature on. The letter dated 25th of March 2012 stated that an inspection was carried out at the Papua compound field and that during the inspection the property was found to be vacant and undeveloped. That single document triggered the tendering process which eventually led to the sale of the playing field. So what it did was, uh, was, was an important uh, process which allowed for the bidding of the land to come on uh, for bids. Two weeks ago, Papuan compound residents held a public protest demanding answers from the Provincial Lands Division, with many accusing them of corruption and illegal land sales in Lay City. Investigations into other land dealings have also revealed that some land portions have dual titles, the original belonging to the provincial government and the other belonging to private individuals. Scott Wade, National MTV News, Lay.